Hi, Peter Charles here, Folks Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie the red tag as a dry fly. Now you've seen me tie it in the past as a wet fly. All we really do is change the hackle and turn it into a dry fly. It's considered to be a grayling fly uh, to be used in the winter, but reality is it's a good searching pattern uh, as a dry fly or as a damp fly where it just sits in the surface film. Uh, it could do a good job of imitating a terrestrial that's fallen into the water. Uh, lots of things that you could do with this fly. You tie it anywhere from uh, a 16 up to a 10. We're going to use a 12, size 12 today. And uh, so let's get started and look at the materials. Our hook is a dry fly size 12. Our thread is a black vivas in an dot. Our tail is red wool. Our body is peacock curl. And we're using this brown dry fly hackle for the hackling. So let's get going. Now this yarn is not thick enough to produce a nice fat tail. So what I do is I double it over, tie it in, a few wraps, then grab all the strands, pull them to the back, and wind the whole thing in. And the reason why we're doing that is I want a smooth underbody. If I just tied in at the end there'd be a lump. And then we have to deal with the lump. You don't have a long tail here, that's good enough for the tail. We don't need any longer than that. Okay, we'll pick a couple of strands of peacock curl. Now, because you've got the underbody, you don't really have to thicken this up. You can stay with just two strands or three strands. Now, you've seen me in the past use a uh, dubbing loop for this. I'm not going to in this particular fly. And I'm not using my hackle pliers, I'm just going to feed it through my fingers. A little bit less risk of breakage when you're feeding it through your fingers. Now I've got a low spot there, I'm just going to put a few extra turns into that. There we go, that'll, that'll do. So you can see how I prepped this feather. I've taken one side off and I've just created a tying in point. And when you tie in a hackle like this, you tie it in in this position here, with the barbs pointing down, and just hold it in position there. Nice couple of tight wraps to hold it. Now we're coming with the hackle pliers, and we begin to wind forward, always going in front of the previous turn. And if you find your hackle leaning forward, just give it a little push back. go. Now with this luck, this will break. There we go. Broke. Good. Now I just finish up the head and now we whip finish. Okay, there's our red tag tied more like a damp fly than a true dry. Uh, the way to deal with that, if you wanted a, a heavier hackle, instead of stripping one half, you would leave both sides on. You get a denser hackle. You'll get a, a fly that wants to float more. This will stay more in the surface film. It's basically, I'm going to treat this like a damp fly rather than a dry fly. But that's your choice. Uh, simple. Leave both sides of the hackle on when you want a dense hackle to keep it on top. or do one half of it and you'll get something that's just going to be just under the surface. So give it a try, the red tag. Cheers.